everyone, welcome back. I just wanted to give a really quick update um, to go along with my last video. I had a couple questions. Um, my last video was the one about the automated Reddit reading YouTube channel. Um, got a pretty good response. Uh, I've actually made some updates to it since I posted that video. Uh, so I want to talk about those a bit. Uh, the main update that I made was I looked and found a look for and found a uh, David Attenborough machine learning voice model uh, to replace the Google text to speech voice model that I had originally put in place um, as a placeholder. So my intention from the very beginning of the project was to put in a machine learning voice model. Um, and so that's what I did. The, the main reason I wanted to do that was because um, I wanted to demonstrate how good voice models are getting. Um, and you'll see in the clip that I'm about to play uh, just how good it is. You now have 10,000 of whatever object is to your left. What do you do with your Newfoundlands? Invade Canada with my army of seven-year-old boys. Great. Even more unfinished craft projects, like I don't have enough already. So if you don't know who David Attenborough is, he's uh, basically a nature documentary commentator. Um, he does a lot of different videos, or he has done a lot of different films. Um, and he, I've been listening to him since basically I was a kid. So I thought it was uh, pretty fun to be able to use his voice for my channel. Um, so some of the questions that came up in the comment section of the last video was, um, where'd I get the model? So I didn't make it myself. I found it online. There was a guy, uh, I'll put his name on screen and he trained this model himself using, um, some data, I guess, that he scraped from documentaries, uh, that David Attenborough narrated. Um, he, he actually didn't make the model himself. He, he trained the model, but he didn't make the underlying architecture for the model. So the under, uh, underlying architecture that he used um, was a model that was originally developed by, two models actually, that were originally developed by NVIDIA and Google with, with collaboration with some other researchers. Um, those two models are Tacotron 2, uh, which is a model that you basically train um, to produce spectrograms. And spectrograms are basically an image representation of sound. Um, they tell you what frequencies are represented at each time slice um, of sound. And then the other model that uh, he used is called WaveGlow, which takes those spectrograms and generates audio from them. Um, so it's two models working together to create David Attenborough's voice, although Tacotron 2 is the main one that is kind of capturing his um, intonation properly. Um, some other questions I had. Um, can I put the code up for my automated channel? I don't really want to do that right now. I might put it up in the future. Um, the main reason I don't want to do that is because I don't really want to flood YouTube with more automated um, content. It's more about um, showing that it's possible, which kind of a lot of a lot of bad actors are using this kind of technique to create content that uh, is divisive. So I don't really want to share that tool with other people, but uh, I want to make people aware that it exists. And the same thing goes for the voice model. You can find the voice model yourself and use it yourself. I have no problem with that, obviously, um, because I did that. But um, I want people to be aware that these things are being made and they might not be used for um, nice things, I guess you could say. So uh, the voice model uh, in order to get it, you have to subscribe, I think you call it, to uh, the Patreon of a guy named Control Shift Face. He's another YouTuber which creates uh, deepfake content. 
and uh, deep fakes, if you don't know, they're just like when you basically do a face swap with someone else. So you could put like Trump's face on me or Obama's face or whatever. Um, he does a lot of deep fake content, mostly um, comedic stuff. Anyways, he has a Discord channel where he shared, uh, where, well, where this other guy shared his model of David Attenborough that he trained. So um, that'll all be in the description. I'm not sure if I had any other questions here. Let me just take a quick look. Um, oh yeah, so there was a question about um, whether or not these automated YouTube channels get monetized. And I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm sh I've seen some which are monetized, um, although I would not make, I would not build something like this with the hopes of it being monetized because I think the channels that I've seen, um, they may have been monetized a long time ago before they put in all these extra rules. Um, so some of them might be grandfathered in, um, but according to the terms of use of Google, which I've looked at, automated content is not monetizable. So do not create a channel like this if your goal is to make money off it, because you probably won't. Um, in ter terms of how well the channel's doing, it's doing okay, considering it posts two videos a night, it's doing pretty bad, but um, I feel like that's kind of expected with automated content. Um, although in the last, as of today, in the last 28 days, the channel's gotten 1,300 views. So that's actually not insignificant, especially if the goal of your channel is to uh, kind of redirect traffic to your main channel, which is kind of what I did. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I probably won't be making any changes to it, uh, at least not for the next little bit. I've got another project on the go um, that I just finished. I could add a couple more features to it, but uh, I'll be making a video about that soon. Um, and yeah, I've got a lot more time now and I'm hoping that I'll be able to uh, start creating more videos. So stay tuned, subscribe, um, and like the video if you enjoyed this video.